Hi, my name is Mark Murphy, and I'm a judge on Chopped. I'm a cook. I like to cook a lot. And I hope you do, too, because today you're going to make linguine alle vongole. Linguine alle vongole is basically linguine with clam sauce. Now, vongole in Italy, that just means they're the small clams. If you can find the small clams, I think they come out much better. But if you have little necks that are a little bit larger, you can also use those as well. First, you're going to start by salting your water. And I always say salt your water until it almost tastes like seawater. So you want a fair amount of salt because if you don't put that salt in the water at first, it's going to be hard to get the salt inside of the pasta. The pasta water is boiling rapidly. Then we're going to put in our one pound of linguine. You ready? We're going in. Little linguine. Now look, I'm putting it in whole. I want everybody to notice that. So for this dish, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to look at the box of pasta. If you're using fettuccine or linguine or spaghetti, if it says about 12 minutes for the cooking time, you're gonna take off about two to three minutes of that. The reason is you're gonna finish cooking the pasta inside of that cockle juice and all of the white wine that's reduced. Do you see how the linguine is sticking out a little bit? All right, so there's sometimes people will break the linguine or the spaghetti in half. If you do that, in some countries you go to jail. You should not do that because then when you're eating your pasta, you can't twirl it. And look how long it takes for this to get soft. It got soft right away, and now we just stir it in. And look, so the bottom of the pasta might have had what? What was that, 30 seconds more of being in the water? The pasta's not gonna be uncooked evenly. It'll be fine. Now, while the pasta's cooking, what you're gonna do is you're gonna come over to your cutting board and you're gonna get a head of garlic. What I'm gonna do is crush the garlic just to break up all the little garlic pieces, what I do is I put my hand on top of it and push down. Oh, I hope this works. It's gonna look foolish if it doesn't. Now, there we go. So now I've got all my cloves separated. So now what you're gonna do is you're gonna take, for the, the, this recipe, you need four of these. So I'm gonna put the extra garlic over here. And what you're gonna do is peel the garlic. Now sometimes, oops, there we go. So sometimes you can take the knife and you can crush the garlic to get the peel off. I want slices of garlic in this pasta. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take the garlic, cut the end off here, and take the outside peel off of the garlic. And the reason I'm doing this is because what you're gonna wanna have is you're gonna wanna have slices of garlic in your pasta. So there we go, it comes right off. Not too difficult. Two more and we're ready to go. And what's great about this dish, as you can see, we threw our pasta in and now I'm getting everything ready. So it's basically hot water in one pan and you're ready to go. It's not much of a mess. And by the way, you're gonna love this dish. So are your friends. I'm not scared of garlic, especially with this dish. You wanna be able to see the garlic. Oh, almost there, all right. So I've got my garlic peeled, get rid of this. And while I'm slicing my garlic, what I want you to do is put your pan on sort of a low, medium, when I want to start getting the pan hot. This is something I always do at home, is you have to realize that this is a lot of metal, right? It's got to get hot, it's got to get hot all the way through. So if you just turn it on and throw your ingredients in, you got to warm it up. So while you're cutting up your garlic, you can get the pan, start getting the pan warm. So to do the garlic, either you can use a Japanese mandolin or you can just use a knife. It's a lot quicker, a lot easier. Just little slices. You want to make sure your fingers are nice and tucked in. And if some pieces are a little thicker, don't be worried. So tuck your fingers in like this, and then just slide the knife down the knuckle. You seeing how that is? And then when you get to a certain point, you can flip it down and then continue. This is just the safer thing to do. And there we go. Now we're going to take our garlic and we're going to put it in that pan. First, you're going to put a little bit of olive oil in there. Some nice extra virgin olive oil. Eh, a little extra. Take your garlic. Put it into the pan. You hear that sizzle? I'm gonna turn it up just a little bit. And I'm gonna get it just so it starts browning. I want that toasty, that toasty, toasty color. So it's not too hot. It's cooking nice and slowly. I'm gonna get my, uh, my vongole, which are actually little clams right over here. So here you go, you've got your clams. Now you see how beautiful they are? These nice little clams. And what you've done already with these is you've put them in a sink, you've filled it up with cold water, and you move them around a lot. Just keep moving them around, change the water. I usually do it two or three times. It's just to make sure all the sand is out of it. After all, they live, in, they live down there in the sand, and you don't want any sand in this dish. 
Look in the pan here, guys. This is what you've done. You've got a little bit of browning. Now you're gonna throw the clams right in the pan. Be careful, pour it away from you. So if it splashes, it goes that way and not towards you. So you don't, so you don't burn yourself. Now stir this around a little bit. You got this? I hope you can still hear me. It's getting noisy over here. Woo! While that's getting warm, I'm just gonna give my pasta. Make sure you stir the pasta once or twice. You don't want those big clumps happening. I'm sure you've seen that happen before. And my clams are in here. What you're doing now is you're gonna take a little chili flake, give it a little heat. As our old friend Emerald used to say, kicking it up a notch, right? Remember him? You're gonna take a cup of wine and that's gonna cook off. So what's happening now is that wine is gonna cook off and the clams are gonna steam open. It's basically giving them one of the most beautiful baths in the world. We're gonna cover it up and we're gonna let these clams open up. You see how some of them have already opened a little bit. Now here's what's happening. When you use these little small clams like this, these little tiny cockles, they're gonna cook a lot quicker. So if you're using a little neck, you're gonna to wanna to start this a little bit earlier to make sure the timing works out. So we're gonna let that go for another minute. While the clams are steaming, we're gonna get the rest of the dish prepped, which is basically chopping some parsley. Very simple. You're gonna just take off, the, take off the leaves and throw them in there. And the other thing is, look, uh, it's a, there's a little stem, it's okay. The stems have flavor as well. Don't worry about it. There's a lot of dishes where I actually use everything. I'll use the stem, and this dish you could as well if you wanted to. Take your parsley, and now I'm just gonna give my parsley a quick little chop once again with the, the fingertips tucked in. And now, right at the end, if you wanna do a little pop, you can put the hand on top of the knife and rock the knife back and forth, and that's about it. I don't wanna chop it too fine. I like the big pieces of parsley in my, uh, in my linguine. Let's go check out how they're doing. We're gonna give these, oh, you see that? Look at that, they're already steamed open. We're pretty much there. Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna go test your pasta once again and always have a towel in your hand. That's one of those rookie mistakes, grabbing a pan without a towel. We're perfect. We're right at the al dente stage. So you're gonna look at your clams quickly. So this is almost ready, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull my pasta and set it to the side like this so it drains. You wanna make sure none of the, all the clams are open. Oh, here's one, it's not open. So that means he's probably dead before we started and it's not a good clam. You do not want to eat this clam. So for your guest's sake and for your sake, get rid of it. And it looks like I only had that, those, those, that one there. And there we are. So a lot of these clams are going to fall out of the shell. So see this one here, no clam. It's not that there wasn't a clam in there. The clam was in there. It's just going around in the sauce now. So I could probably take those out if they're already, I can already notice them not having a clam in there. Now, take my pasta that's al dente, put it in there, and we're gonna stir this around and we're gonna add the rest of the ingredients. But you see, we want this to cook for a couple minutes in that sauce. Look at that, he's getting hungry. And now I'm gonna add my butter, and it's not much, it's just a couple, couple little pieces of butter. You could do this without butter if you want to. I just think it sort of makes the dish a little bit more round, a little bit more unctuous, I would say. All right. Right at the end, we're gonna throw in our parsley. Okay, so very important, and I think you guys, you guys see us say this all the time on Chopped. You have to taste your food, right? You have to make sure it's right. A bigger fork, you know? I'm a big boy, I like a nice, nice bite of pasta. And I mean, look at this. So there, see what I'm doing? I'm twirling my pasta on the edge of the bowl. A lot of people use a spoon, but most pasta bowls in Italy, you'll notice, have a rounded edge for a specific reason. And so you can put the fork in the corner and roll your pasta to get a nice bite like this. Mm, mm, mm. So, seasoning, I'm just gonna go another little pinch of salt on there, but we're pretty much right where we need to be. Now stirring around, notice I'm using a spoon. I can just move it around like this. 
Very easy. All right, now you're gonna plate it. You can either plate it or you can just put it out and let your guests serve themselves. Pick up your pole, take a little bit of pasta, drop it in the bowl, give it a twist, it gives it a little height, and then throw some of those clams on there. Oh yeah. And by the way, notice all that wine is cooked off. You see how all the wine's cooked off, but you know what's happened? Is all of that good, delicious wine has been absorbed by the pasta. And all the flavors right there in the bowl. You did a great job. I always like to serve my pasta with a little bread. I know it seems a little bit overkill, but you know, it always good. There's, there's a word in Italian called scarpetta. And scarpetta means to drag the piece of bread at the bottom of the bowl. And what you're doing is you're getting all those concentrated flavors that are right there at the bottom. You can get absorb them up with a little piece of bread. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take a little bit of pasta. As I said before, watch. You're gonna twist it. You don't need a spoon. You can go right on the side of the bowl and get it. And if you want, stick a little clam right on the end of there, but boom. Mmm. Mmm. So what you're tasting here, you're tasting the beautiful clams and all that clam juice that's absorbed in the pasta. You've got that chili flake giving it just a little bit of heat to wake up the palate and it's all coated with just a little bit of butter. I hope you're trying this at home and I hope you and your guests are enjoying it. Thanks for joining me.